insanely cheap. 364 gallon for gas near Bacchus. The roads were bad yesterday, weren't they? Oh, they were treacherous. They were really uh, bad. Here you go. So, Minnesota. Yep. We got through it. Yep. Back home is a little nicer than yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I mean, we get snow sometimes this time of year. But... There's no snow right now, but uh, <laughs> it's about 20 degrees here. Yeah, but um, this is where they basically finish, yeah. So they do their uh, spring test, yeah, they get buffed, waxed. Um, cleaned up, uh, so they all look nice and shiny until you, right. when you pull down the road a few miles, <laughs> right. uh, but on the far end of the factory, way down there, as yeah. far as you can see, that's where they do the fiberglass molds, Yeah. they put them together, they bring in the frame, which we weld up here, mm -hmm. put the body on, and then it just starts coming down both sides, so, yeah. Nice. Um, yours is... This is my trailer. Very nice. It looks so shiny. I'm like afraid to take it off. Oh. The name's on the door. Okay. But uh, yeah, I think they're going to pull it out in the middle. Okay. So, so we actually are going to end up showing it here for a little bit. Oh, okay. Because we are going to have to just test it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah. you're jockeying some stuff around. Yeah. Because pretty soon things are good. Are you showing it? I'm showing it. Okay. Brandon, nice to Sandy. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, she'll show you the trailer, okay. answer your questions, and then uh, get you hooked up. Okay. And I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay. All right. We're going to start at the front here. Okay. Okay. At the front here, we have your latch for your door. Okay. Okay. These doors are fiberglass, so they're extremely light. Okay. So anytime you come out your door, always latch it if you're going to leave your door open. Okay. Okay. This is your step in, out. This here is your screen door. You pull it across, hit your lever, and it springs back to itself. This here is your lights. Okay, so this is your porch light. And this is the light over here. Okay. Now over here, man. Out front. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. This is the vent for your refrigerator. This pulls the air in, pushes it out up there. Down here we have your 13 inch tires. Okay. In the center of your tire, you have a seal. You're going to take a flathead screwdriver every five to 6,000 miles. You're going to pop that off of there. There's a grease zerk in there. You're going to take a grease gun, give it three squirts of grease, put your seal back on. If you have kind of a camping season, do it like once at the beginning, once a year, you know, so whenever you use it for your, your season. And then every 10 to 12,000 miles, you're going to want to take your tires off, have your bearings intact, and put them back on. Okay, and all of this stuff that I'm telling you is also in a manual. So, it comes with a manual. <laughs> this here is your outside shower. These are your keys. Do you want me to open it? So you're gonna notice in, in some of your stuff here, there is pink RV antifreeze, okay? okay? Your trailer has been winterized. Okay because we did put water, we have started putting water to, to trailers. To test, to test them. To test them. Okay, because somebody said, check the water. I'm like, I can't check the water in the <laughs> middle of winter. <laughs> yeah, no, we... I appreciate we, that you guys are checking. Yeah, about, a, I don't know, a month or so ago we started. Okay. So here's your outside GFI. Okay. Okay, so this works as long as you're plugged in on the other side. Okay. This here is your stabilizers. One here, one here. You have a jack in your trailer. So you're gonna put the head of your jack right on here, crank them down, crank them up, okay? okay? Good thing to add to a checklist. Before you leave your campsite, before you leave home, make sure they're up. 
This is your 12 gallon fresh water tank, okay? So this here, you're gonna have to rinse out. Also, I'll show you inside where the valve is that it, so it drains out underneath the trailer. But this is 12 gallons, you cannot travel with that full. It's 100 pounds, okay? When you're adding water in here, it's full when it comes out these weak holes. Okay. You say not to travel when it's full, just whenever you get a full up. Yeah, you know, get, you get as close. Yeah, get as close as you can to your campsite before you fill that up. Because what happens is you got a hundred pounds on one corner of the trailer. Bad things happen that yeah. way. All right. So this is your full size spare. Okay. This here is for a bike rack. Or a luggage rack. Oh, we have a bike rack. Yeah. Right, you bikes. Yep. So, um, nothing more than 200 pounds. So we can put 200 on there. You can put 200 pounds on there. Our bikes are about too. We have too little, too big to eat bikes. Sure. Yep. Yeah. I mean, just as long as you um, test the weight okay. on it, because keep in mind, you put 200 pounds back here, right. it's going to pull your front up like that yeah. from your vehicle. So it's all about the whole balancing thing. Right. And if you're wondering how you're balanced, you can always put like a level on your on the side or on your belly band to set it here. Right. See where you are. Okay. Okay. This is your 31 day permit. Okay. This allows you to get your trailer home, license okay. it in your state. Cool. Any questions so far? Uh, doing good so far. Okay. This here is your 30 amp service. Okay. Right now. We are plugged into a 15 amp adapter okay. and plugged in to an extension cord that goes to a regular outlet. Okay. You can run everything in your trailer on this 15 amp adapter except your air conditioner. Okay. Does that come with it? Uh, this does. Okay. There's one inside your trailer. Okay. okay. Now, this you have to plug this directly to use the air conditioning side of yeah. your air conditioner. Yeah, I, re I remember you recall you saying. Yes. <laughs> Well, and it's kind of funny, you know, I've told many people that before, mm -hmm. never really realizing kind of what could happen, because I've never, I, we just don't run them. Mm -hmm. I had a customer who came in, and, and we were just coming back from lunch, and so he was in his trailer, he was excited, and he turned his air conditioner on, and he went on to the air conditioning mm -hmm. side. It literally blew up the breaker in that box, yeah. and it blew the big box. Oh, yeah. Like, it, it just yeah. doesn't get enough power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This here is your um, hot water heater. Okay. okay. This is your plug. It is out because we are winterized. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stick this in a little bag okay. with kind of a little bit of uh, instructions how to put it in. Okay. But just FYI, when you go to put this in, you're gonna put it in here. Point the top of it up, okay? It's much easier to start start the threads if you have the point topped up, okay? okay? And we'll put this in up. The only thing that you're gonna do with your hot water heater on the outside is drain it. Okay. So, let me get that. pictures to kind of show you how to put that back in. Okay. Thank you. All right, we're gonna um, come back down here. Um, we have your gray water tank here and your black water tank up there. Okay. <laughs> it's easy. So your gray water, yeah. of course, is your sink and your any hand washing water. Yeah. Your black water is your toilet water. Okay. okay. Now, underneath here, in this holder, is your hose. Okay. Stinky, oh. slinky, is that what that is? Yes, it is. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I think I used that. Yeah. Um, this here is your cover. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this cover off. You're gonna take this here 
put it on these knobs on the right on the side here and pull the hose out. Dump wherever they allow you to dump. Okay. I am going to recommend that you dump your black water first, then come back and dump your gray water. Okay. That rinses out your hose. Okay. This here is your dump valve. I'm not going to pull it okay. because there is still it's a little bit of water in our Vienna freeze in your um, gray water tank. Okay. okay? So we are going to put this back in here. back on here. Just like that. Very nice. You guys used to put them on the back like the so now you put them under there to raise. Yeah, we actually put them on the front. Oh. They were on the front okay. over the propane tank. Okay. This here is your city water connection. Okay. okay this is where you're going to hook a, a garden hose into. That'll give you all the water that you need within your trailer. It just won't fill your fresh water tank. Okay. Okay. But if you this if you hook up, so you can just run water infinitely, I guess. Yes. Until you like fill your side of a house. Until, until yeah, yeah, just like you take a garden hose from yeah. the side of your house and, and plug it in. The thing that will happen when your gray water tank is full, yeah. you're gonna notice a little puddle underneath it. There's an overflow hose. Okay. Your gray water is 22 gallons. Okay? okay. So it'll take you a little bit to fill that. Okay. Any other questions? No, I mean, I, I can always look online too. Yeah. <laughs> I can watch one of your other <laughs> right here is your furnace vent. Yeah. Um, one of the big things is, is if you're using your furnace, this is going to be warm. Okay, warm to the touch. So I don't know if you have any kids running around or anything like that, but this will be hot. Yeah, my nephew will. Yep. Yeah, regarding, I guess I will learn more about the heater. Um, do you need a ton, a ton of electricity to run the heater? Or is it... No, actually, you're, you're, propane, right? it is propane, it's and it the, the igniter is actually can be battery. Okay. So it will ignite with so your battery. If we're dry camping on the way home, we can use yes. the propane. Yes, you can. Okay. okay. The only thing, keep in mind, remember, remember, unplug your seven-way from your car. Okay? Because the seven-way... Yeah. Um, if you leave that plugged in and you're going to turn your lights on, you're going to use your furnace, yeah. it is going to pull the battery power from your vehicle, okay? So sure, you're going to have all the lights and everything you need, but you're going to get up in the morning and you're going to have a dead battery on your vehicle. So make sure anytime you're put up or whatever. Unhook the seven, the okay. seven way. Okay. Yep. Real important. Right. I would hate to have you on the way home <laughs> and out without it being. Right. What's your opinion on taking the upper peninsula and just is it dangerous? We were gonna go around that. I don't want to go through Chicago. I know. I wouldn't want to go through through Chicago either. You know, we. I don't. I don't know what the weather is like up there right it's now. It's supposed to be a little bit slower. You know, the thing is, is let's go through Chicago, deal with some snow. <laughs> what kind of a vehicle are you driving? So it's a decent vehicle. I don't know. I might chance it with the snow versus the going through. Well, would you go farther south of Chicago and around that yeah. way, maybe, where it's not going to be so snowy? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I think it is. Maybe. You are going to have snow in the Upper Peninsula if you go that way. <laughs> right here is your um, black water. Okay. The lid for your for your your black water is the same as your lid over there okay, okay you're going to take that off put your hose on drag it out dump your valve okay, okay. i'm going to recommend when you are dumping your black water go in the trailer lift up the toilet lid start your shower you know push the pedal down on your toilet and let the water run out when you're emptying when you're emptying your black water while you have the hose hooked yep. up you can yep and then let let all that kind of rinse in your black water tank. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I'll show you. Yep. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you inside too. All right. Right here, you have your 27 series battery. To access your battery, all you got to do is lift this and you lift your lid and it's top mounts right there. Um, where is it? It's for. So, are you cold like here? It's cold. It's cold. Okay, so, you know, if you're below freezing a lot, you're going to want to take
take your battery out of there. Okay? Take it inside. Don't set it on a cement floor. If you set it on a cement floor, it will drain off the color. Okay? But um, draining and um, this is a marine battery. Um, draining it all the way. Okay? So, I just get one quick set. This is your dual setter propane. So right now, Yeah. You're using your furnace, mm -hmm. and this tank goes empty. As long as you have both tanks open, if this one's open, it'll automatically switch over to this one. Okay, you're going to come out in the morning, and you're going to notice that this dial is red. And that indicates that this tank went empty. You're going to switch the nose over to this way. It'll turn green again. Okay, now you're using this tank, and you can take this tank off and get it filled. Okay. You can use whatever side you want. Um, I'm, I just say you can start with this one, but they will toggle off of each other as long as they're both open. If we were camping in cold weather tonight, would it take use up an entire tank? No. You don't need the inside 80 degrees, you know. So. <laughs> Have a sauna going, you know. But um, no, you, you'll be fine. This is your seven way, which we're going to hook to your vehicle. This here. Is your breakaway. Okay, so do you know what a breakaway is? It's if it breaks from your trailer, it puts the brakes. Yes, yes. So when we hook up your safety chains, we'll show you how to hook this up to your vehicle. Okay. All right. If you don't have any questions, we're going to go on the side. I'm going to follow you with. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. door opening here yeah you have your battery shut off your battery shut off is usable when um, your trailer is just sitting at your home okay, okay not being used at all mm -hmm. and um, it cuts all the power to everything in your trailer okay okay so as long as you're not plugged in and as long as you're not hooked to your vehicle okay. you can leave that in the off position which that is off right now okay, okay? The only time you really have to turn that on is if you're boondocking and you need to draw battery power. In here, we have your crank. Okay. This is for the stabilizers. In here is your bathroom. So, do you want to come and stand inside sure. here? It's easier that way to... Okay. Right above your, <laughs> right above your head yeah. is your bath fan. Yeah. Okay, to access your bath fan, you're gonna push this up and hit the button on the back side. Okay, and then when you're done using your bath fan, you turn it off, pull it down. Okay, mm -hmm. this is the lever, and it's you need to kind of push both sides at the same time. This here is a tube fuse. If your fan's not working, um, this unscrews and you just have to replace the fuse there. Okay? On your toilet. To bring water into your toilet, you're going to lift up on the lever. Once you have the water in there that you want, you'll use the facility and then to flush it, you're gonna push your lever down. Okay. And that's when I said, when you're dumping your black water, mm -hmm. take your foot, hold this lever down, mm -hmm. take your shower head and rinse. Okay. It's just a good hygiene okay. for your toilet. Any questions there? No, I won't be using it for a while. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so on the other side here, we have your shower, okay? This is not a gravity-fed system, okay? So what you're gonna need to do when you have your shower going and you've got water at your feet, you're gonna turn your drain pump on, okay? That, that drain pump is gonna take the water from your feet back to your gray water tank, okay? 
let some water kind of gather first before you turn it on. Okay. Dry pump isn't always good. Okay. okay. So let some water gather before you turn it on. Okay. okay. This is your hot and your cold. And these are your buttons to, for on and off okay. on your shower. Okay. This, it, this usually hangs down. Yeah. But we kind of keep it up a little bit so the pink doesn't get on your nice white shower curtain. Okay? Okay? Alright. Any questions? No. Uh, I, I won't be using it for a while. So. <laughs> Alright. Right here we have your refrigerator. Okay, okay your power button is right here. Yeah. So to get your refrigerator cold, it's going to take three to five hours. Okay. Okay. This here is what we recommend that you get it cold on, and that is your plug-in. That's your electrical source that mm -hmm. you're using. Um, your uh, propane source mm -hmm. will get your refrigerator cold, but that will use a, most of a bottle right. of propane. Okay. So it's always best if you can get it cold on the electric. You can use the battery option going down the road to maintain it but that's also you have to keep in mind anytime you're using battery inside your trailer and if you are hooked to your vehicle you're drawing from your battery power of your vehicle okay okay so just keep that in mind if you do that what's it in now Is it's it it's it's electric. not it's off i turned it on to the electrical okay. part okay cool so this is the inside of your refrigerator this here is the little freezer. Okay. okay? It's pretty. It's pretty light. <laughs> I know. It is pretty light. Pretty. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm going to shut that off. Above my head is your air conditioner. Okay. okay. This side here, which is the black side, is fan only. Okay. okay. That fan only, you can use that on the 15 amp adapter. Okay. okay? It's the blue side, which kicks your condition compressor in, is the side that you cannot use unless you're hooked in to your 30 amp service. Okay. Okay? Any questions on that? No. Okay. I won't be using that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All your goodies are up here. Okay. Okay. There's your 15 amp adapter. Okay. This is your uh, stake downs for your awning. Okay. This is all of your manuals for the different stuff that you have in your trailer and there is an additional manual that your salesperson will give you this is the remote for your fan right above your head okay I'm gonna shut this so you don't hit your head all right so on your remote you're gonna hit the button power button once to wake it up hit it again And now it opened. On your remote, it is telling you that you have air coming in at 100%. Okay. okay. These buttons here will decrease or increase your speed of your fan. This button here will make, now we have air coming in. If you push this button, it reverses your fan blades and air will be going out. Just like that. Now, if you're in your trailer and it's raining outside, you actually can drop the hood, and now it becomes a ceiling fan. Just moves the air within your trailer, okay? Yeah. There is, in the middle of this remote, there is an auto option, okay? okay? The auto option is, is if you push it, you're gonna see a green light on the back of your fan, mm -hmm. okay? So what you can do is with the plus and minus on your remote here, you can set the temperature that you want this fan to come on at. Mm -hmm. It will come on, it will open up, it works great. Yeah. Just keep in mind, one thing, always shut that green button off before you go down the road. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you don't, and it's going to get hot in here, it is going to turn your fan on, and it's going to uh, open that yes. hood. I think I remember recall you saying that in one of the and Very, very bad things yes. are going to happen. Yes. <laughs> It'll rip off. Yeah, so... <laughs> It does work very good. Just remember to turn that light right. off. I've heard good things about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is your cooktop. Okay. So to light your cooktop, you're gonna take, push your black knob in, turn it, and hit your igniter. 
Okay. Now, I turned your propane on when I got in here this morning. Yeah. So if you've just turned your propane on, yeah, it's going to take this a little bit. Okay. You're going to you're going to sit here and you're going to hold it and it's going to click 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 until finally the propane gets down the line. Right. Okay? And then it'll start. Okay. On your wall here, you have um, this is your furnace control. Okay. Okay? So you can go to to heat just like that with these arrows you can change the temperature that you want your furnace to come on at. Okay. Um, right now, we had we set it high, so it actually will kick in, and you can kind of see so how it operates. Like, that's how loud it is. That's how loud it is. Everyone was complaining about how it is. I like the noise. I don't know. It's not. The, it's, this is louder. Yeah. yeah. Wait, one. You turn that on. It's great. Right. I need white noise to sleep. So yeah. Be yeah. Perfect. Perfect. That's the heat. While we're waiting for this, as you notice here and underneath there are your charging stations. Okay. There's also one on the back of the cabinet there. Okay. Now, underneath this cabinet also is your voltmeter. Okay. okay. It's that colorful little dial that you have there. Okay. okay. Now, that is going to tell you how much um, ampage you have in your battery. Okay. Okay. If you're boondocking, that's what you're going to want to watch pretty close because that's going to tell you how much power you have in your battery okay and as you can tell this is starting to warm up so we'll turn it off here so um this will heat you out of this trailer yeah. so <laughs> this here is the control for your hot water heater okay okay so your hot water heater is <laughs> underneath that bunk back there. So we'll uh, we'll take okay. a look at it in just a bit. All right. Tell me when you <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. Right. So to fill your hot water heater, okay. this is what you're going to do. If you're hooked to city water, yeah. you have all the water that you need. Okay, so you're hooking to city water, you're turning your hot water tap on, and then you wait. Okay. okay? You're going to wait. Four gallons is going to go in your hot water heater. Then it's going to come out this faucet. Okay, so then you're going to turn your hot water tap off. Turn your light on. Okay, in about 30 seconds, this light's going to go off. It's going to attempt to start your hot water heater. I'm going to shut it off since it's empty. We don't want it to start. So the light will come on. It'll do its click, 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 click. Try to start. If it doesn't start, this light's going to come back on. It will try three times before you have to turn the switch on and turn it back on. That's the reason I always tell people, turn, get your uh, cooktop lit, get your furnace lit, get the propane coming down, because I, it, your hot water heater is one of the more fussier things. Okay? Any questions there? If you're boondocking and you need to have uh, fresh water, which your tank is underneath there, this you're gonna use this. This is your fresh water pump. It's going to bring water from your fresh water tank to your sink, to your toilet, to your shower, you know, wherever you need it, okay? So I'm going to switch places with you. This is your sink cover. Okay. Don't travel with it in there, okay? It can come become like a flying saucer. Yeah. So we'll just put it underneath there. All right. I'm going to stick this on here. On this side, we have your fresh water tank, okay? Right there is the white valve that you're going to turn. Okay. And it will empty its contents out onto the ground. Okay. Okay? That's also how you're going to clean it out. Okay. White okay? valve. Right there. So, and there's your fresh water pump. Mm -hmm. So, if you're boondocking and you need water from your fresh water tank, that's how the fresh water pump, that's how you're going to get it to your sink. Okay? Down here, we have your carbon monoxide and propane fume 
and smoke detector. Okay. okay. So if that goes off. Get the hell out of <laughs> It's extremely important. Look at this camera though. It's high temperature. So. <laughs> All right. In here, this is your hot water heater. Now, for right now, because we winterized, mm -hmm. there's three levers here. Two of them are off. Okay. The one here and the one underneath it. Okay. So your inlet and your outlet, they're shut off. This here, which is your bypass, is open. Okay. Okay. When you are getting ready to use it, you've got everything rinsed out, you need to turn them the opposite direction. Right. Okay, so water to go in, so you're gonna change this to open. The one down below it, you're gonna change to open. This one, you're going to close. Okay? okay. And then when next year, when you take and um, do your own winterization, mm -hmm. then that's the way you would want to do it. Okay. It's not great for a hot water heater to run antifreeze through it. Right. It can be right. kind of corrosive. Right. Also in here is your 25 foot power cord. Okay. I don't recommend that you store anything in this cabinet okay. because you also have your converter, which is that silver box right there. Okay. On that silver box, there's a fan. Mm -hmm. It needs room to breathe. Okay. Okay. So also, this uh, converter is plugged into an electric box down there. Okay. If you come into your trailer and nothing wants to work, it's a good chance that your electric cord has gotten wrapped around that plug-in and pulled out the cord for your converter. Okay. So that would be the first thing that I would check. Okay. Okay. Any questions? We can leave the electric cord in there, correct? Oh like, yeah. Just Absolutely. don't put anything else just in there. Just don't really. put anything else. That yeah. electric cord is twenty five feet. Okay. That's your that's your power cord to the trailer. Okay. Down here is your breaker box. Okay. So on this side you have your electric breakers. On this side you have your twelve volts. Okay. okay. Um if you come in and, and something's not working, that twelve volt check that for your first very first time. Always carry some 10, 15, and 20s with you. Okay. And if you don't have a pack of them, I think they sell like a pack right in the parts department here of just the ones that you need. Okay. okay? Yeah. Or any automotive place will have it. Okay. okay? So you're recommending us to take some fuses? Carry them with you yeah. at all times. Okay. Because the 12 volts, if, if one of those blows, yeah. It's not, something's not going to work until you put anyone in there. Mm -hmm. On the breaker side, all you have to do is flip the breaker, mm -hmm. and that's easy enough. Right. But on the 12 volt side, if one blows, you're going to need to have another one to replace it. Okay. 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 How many times have you done this tour? You think like. <laughs> Is it multiple times a day every day? Or? You know, during the summer it is multiple times. Okay. Today, this one is my only oh, one I've okay. done today. Thank so. you for letting it extend yeah. a little bit. <laughs> oh, have a guess. I had it for time. So you're going to put your tabs in the back side there. Okay. Drop your table leg. Just like that. It's got a button on the side of it. So do not travel with your table up. Okay. okay? Um, you will put your leg right through the floor. Okay. So. Yeah, that's cemented in my brain, not to leave the table up. It, the table it, it takes the table off, yeah. it breaks the leg, it, it really does some damage. All right, questions? No, not yet. All right, I think I I've like covered... The tree. Sorry, I like the tree. Oh. <laughs> Tell us about it. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, well, I like it. Used to, well, see, if you notice also in the bumpers, yeah, you have trees design, in the bumpers. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, that's yeah, cool. yeah, it's kind of their Aesthetic. thing. Is it functionality? Yep. Is, it has it's any support. function or no? Mm, nope, just okay. decorative. I just saw this. So like, it's not a support? Thing? Well, it is used somewhat for support <clears> for <throat> this. Because somebody that's was cool, asking online if they could remove that support. So I wouldn't them. recommend, right. I wouldn't recommend, right. I mean, your cabinet, depending how much stuff you have in it, um, is uh, riveted to the top, okay. but I don't think I'd take it out of there. Right. Yeah. I think you're test <laughs> testing. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, all right. If you don't have any other questions, we'll go ahead, um, move outside and do your... What about this? Your side table can stay up. 
So to use this as a bed. Yeah, that, we're gonna try to use it as a bed. <laughs> okay. So all you have to do is pull this table up, yeah. take the leg out of it. Okay. Lay your table back down on here. Okay. And move your cushions across. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. It, and it. Uh, That's my bed, huh? It's James. <laughs> That's my bed. <laughs> uh, since I'm the smaller guy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I sleep on my side anyway, so <laughs> shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a little snug for an it's adult. Snug for a adult guy, but I still. Want I think I'll be so good. Bad. I just, no. just sitting here still cozy. Just I think yeah. I'll still be okay. Yeah, I just need a pillow. Cozy, so. No. I hope you are gonna yeah. really enjoy your yeah, trailer. Uh, so we're heading yep. out, right? We're heading out, yep. Hopefully, the trailers that they need to move because we need to move this one. <laughs> I'm going to have you hang on to that. I'm going to you were thinking, can we push it up the hill? <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to take your crank and we're going to make a crank out of it because most of the time it's going to be like that. You're going to put it in here. Yeah. You're going to start rolling it out. You're going to get it to about here. You're going to reach up, pull your legs out, drop it down, loosen your wing nut, push up, and then tighten your wing nut. Pull your leg out, drop it down, loosen your wing nut, push up a little bit, tighten it. Now, we're going to walk your legs out.
Increases the braking power or in the minus yeah. decreases the braking power? Yes. Okay. Yep. Right. So, <laughs> so, what I'm going to have you do, um, I'm going to back this up a little bit, but I'm going to have you back your vehicle in and we're going to get you hooked up. Okay. All right. What's your name again? My name is Sandy. Sandy, nice to meet you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the letting us meet you. Oh my gosh, you're going to enjoy this. <laughs> Send you off to die. <laughs> What's that? Send you off to die. We still have to stop at the office. 
right. Where should we park? Like, <laughs> just like. Just take it and park right alongside of that big snowbank. Okay. okay. And another thing. Yeah. Nine feet. Nine to the feet. Top oh, of your God. air conditioner. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for us. <laughs> oh. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video. If you could please hit that like button and subscribe, maybe hit that bell notification so you're informed the next time I upload a scamp video. Again, thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs>